the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. I've got it. Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Oh, yes, Tom. Well, Ralph should be. Left here about half an hour ago. Is there something wrong out there? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't be too worried about him, Tom. He doesn't know any other home anymore. Uh, sure. Well, let us know how it turns out. Okay, Tom. Bye. What was that all about, Bill? That was Tom. Well, I figured that much. Uh, what did he want? He was anxious for Ralph to get out to Tower 7 to replace him. Seems that bright water has run off somewhere. That's so. I don't think there's anything to worry about, but you know how Tom is about that little otter. He spoils him worse than I've ever seen anyone do with a child. Well, that ain't hard to understand. Uh, you remember from your tower sitting days how lonely you get out there. Uh, that little otter makes Tom's life a whole lot more bearable. I'll say. Bright water is the kind of pet every tower watcher ought to have. And it is strange, though, that Brightwater isn't near the tower. No, he's probably somewhere near. Uh, Tom's acting like a worried mother. I hope so. I wouldn't like to see anything happen. Uh, excuse me, Stumpy. Ranger headquarters, Bill. Oh, hello, Tom. What's that? Oh, no, this... This is the first I've heard about it. I don't like the sound of that at all, Tom. Sure, we'll be out this afternoon. Hmm? Well, I hadn't thought of that. Hope he hasn't been... Right. We'll be there soon. We were going to lunch, but we can grab something on the way. Okay, Tom. Right. Bye. What's up? Well, after Ralph arrived to replace Tom at Tower 7, Tom went looking for bright water. While he was looking for him, he came across three traps. Traps? That's right. And of various sizes. Somebody's out there in the game preserve taking advantage of the good care the animals get. And I aim to put whoever it is out of business just as quickly as I can. Looks like Bill coming now, Tom. Well, it's about time. Yeah, that's him, all right. Well, it doesn't look as though you've found Brightwater yet. No, I haven't. And I've got a feeling why I haven't. There's a trapper somewhere around here that's got him, and who knows what he's done with him. Let's not jump to any conclusions, Tom. For all we know, Brightwater was frightened by the trapper and is hiding. You don't know him like I do, Bill. That poor little guy would head home as fast as his little legs could carry him. You sound like you're his mother or something, Tom. Well, in a way, he is, Ralph. Uh, leastwise, he's the only kinfolk Brightwater knows anything about. <laughs> oh, brother. Look, uh, I'll leave this whole matter of Tom's runaway baby to you guys. I'm going back up in the tower. Uh, take a look around, Ralph, and see if you can spot anything that looks like a trapper moving around in the forest. Yeah, I'll see what I can see, Bill, but... Uh... You know yourself that once you get above the trees like that, it's pretty impossible to see anyone or 
anything moving around under them. Yeah, I know, but if you should see anything, give a shout. Right. Uh, listen, Tom, I was only kidding about that baby stuff. Uh, I really do hope you find Brightwater. Thanks. I'll check with you later, Ralph. Yeah, just uh, bang on the tower, Bill. Uh, no sense in climbing all the way up if I haven't seen anything. Now can we set about finding who's got Brightwater? Say, Tom, uh, maybe this isn't the time or the place, but uh, something's got me a little worried about you. Huh? Well, we've been kidding about your tremendous concern for your pet otter, but... Well, you really do seem almost overly concerned for him. What are you talking about? I've done Tower Watch in my time, Tom, and I know the distractions to fellowship with God that can come from inside and from outside. Are you trying to say that bright water's a hindrance to my Christian life? No. I'm asking. Well, that's crazy. Listen, Bill, I used to pray a lot that God would make this job less boring to me. He sent me bright water as an answer to those prayers. And then you stopped praying? Huh? Sometimes, Tom, we can get completely carried away in the gifts of God, fine as they may be, and lose the giver himself. That's something to think about. Uh, sure, Bill, sure. Now, what do you say we start trapping this trapper? You sure laid it on the line, Sonny. I had to, Stumpy. All the way out in the car, and for the first few moments we were talking, I kept trying to think of a way to work it into the conversation. All I could think of was to be direct and say what was on my mind. Well, that's the way Jesus acted when he was talking with folks, so I guess you're not far from being right in what you did. I only hope that Tom does think about what was said. Well, that's why you let him look in one direction while we checked in the other, huh? That's right. Want to give him time to be alone and think. Well, from the way he acted, I'd say you got him right where it hurts. Look out, Stumpy. What's the matter? Look where you were about to step. Great horny toads, a trap. And one big enough to catch a bear. Or a man. You mean you think he's trying to catch a man? No, but if you had stepped into that trap, you'd have been caught. And I wouldn't have liked the job of trying to get you out of it. Ooh, I reckon not. It looks as though our friend isn't very particular what kind of animal he catches. It looks to me like he knows he ain't got a whole lot of time to trap around here before we'd get after him. So he set as many kinds as he can and trying to make a fast killing. You're probably right. That's why we've got to catch him as soon as we can. Now stand away a little. I'll snap this one with this branch like we've done the others. No sense leaving it around set. Ouch! What's the matter, old-timer? Huh? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking. That, that branch that the trap busted when you snapped it might have been my leg. And then you stop praying. What does he mean, sticking his nose into my spiritual life like that? I never thought Bill would be that kind of a guy. Just because I get excited when Brightwater's missing, probably trapped, who wouldn't get excited? God, you know how often I pray to you. Why, every time I sit down to eat, I pray to you. And, well, maybe that was a mistake. I guess I don't pray very often. Well, there's a lot to do on the job. God, you understand, don't you? I don't know why I thought the job was boring before Brightwater. Maybe I do spend a little too much time with that animal. He's the cutest little fellow, though. He's God's creation, isn't he? But, well, in a way, maybe Bill does have something. Getting carried away with the gift and forgetting the giver. Maybe I'd better... Oh, my leg, I'm caught. A bear trap. I gotta get free. Pain is almost unbearable. Gotta get free. Oh, blacking out. Help! 
Bill. God. Somebody. Oh, my leg. I... Hey, what is this? I'm tied up. That's right. And I ain't any happier about it than you. You must be the trapper. That's right. What are you having me tied up here for? That ain't too hard to figure out. It's because I don't know what to do with you. I didn't think about catching a ranger in my traps. <laughs> Where am I? In my cabin. I don't think anybody will drop in to help you out, but then um, I ain't as sure as I used to be about how safe I am. Um... Uh, how long you rangers been on to me, huh? How about untying me, mister? It'll only make it harder on you when the others get here. If you mean that big guy and the old man, they went the other way. I know I'm safe for a little while, at least. What do you figure on doing with me? It's a good question. If I had the answer to that, I'd have done it. Maybe the best thing to do is to take the skins I already caught and get while the getting's good. Sooner or later, somebody will find you here. Um... Skins? That's right. You're the fellow that has Brightwater. Where is he? You'd better take it easy, Mr. Ranger. I might have to clobber you. Now, what you talking about? I'm talking about Brightwater, my pet otter. Pet? Oh, oh, oh no wonder. What do you mean by that? I never seen an animal act the way that one did. Turn around through this cabin trying to get out. Once when I was out checking traps, he almost chewed his way right through the door. I never see such sharp teeth before. Even when I kicked him away from the hall, he was... Kicked him? You... I said take it easy. Even that otter you are and is two of a kind. I might have to fix the both of you. Where is Brightwater? What have you done with him? Me? <laughs> I ain't done a thing. He give up all by himself. Gave up? That's right. After he seen that I wasn't going to let him out, he just went over in a corner and rolled up in a little ball. He didn't even fight when I picked him up and put him in the cage I made out of branches. He stopped fighting? That's right. But don't you know what that means? It means that he's going to try to die. Lots of times, animals who were wild and then tamed will act like that when they're taken away from their master. Oh, stop it. You're breaking my heart. It's true. Answer me this. Has he had anything to eat since he stopped struggling? Oh, about? he ain't done anything to work up an appetite. Has he eaten? Okay, so he ain't. That don't mean nothing. It means a lot, mister. Now, where is he? Oh, forget it, Ranger. I ain't setting either one of you loose. That stupid little otter wants to die. Well, that's up to him. Looks like I'm going to have to get in a hurry. And one less load to carry is okay with me. Where is he? You know, for a guy that's tied up to a chair, you sure make a lot of big noise. I'm going to ask you for the third time to just take it easy. I'm feeling a little pushed right now. And I might fly off the handle if you start getting too noisy. Yeah, that's better. Your long-lost friend is in a cage in the next room where he's going to stay. And you're going to stay right here tied to that chair. Which leaves me. And I'm going to go out, make a quick check of my traps, and then pick up my pelts and get. Reckon I can uh, trust you till I get back? <laughs> Uh, by the way, in case it starts getting dark, um, I'll leave this here kerosene lantern lit. That way, if your friends don't find you by nightfall, they'll at least have uh, something to go on. Oh, don't worry about me none. By that time, uh, I'll be in the next state. Oh, what a mess this is. Me tied up. <coughs> oh, it's no use. He knows how to use rope. Oh, feels like my leg's busted anyway from that bear trap. And bright water. Poor little guy in the next room, trying to die. Oh, there's got to be something I can do. <coughs> Thank you. 
See anything at all suspicious from up there, Ralph? Not a thing, Bill. Sorry. What about Tom? Can you see where he's wandered off to? Nope. I think he's somewhere over in there, in the southwestern sector. Thanks. Well, there don't seem to be too many immediate areas left to cover, Stumpy. Just the northeastern region. It's a sure thing that a trapper on foot couldn't spread his traps out too far, especially if he knew he'd have to pack up in a hurry. Right. Let's check that last area and then come back here and check again with Ralph. Maybe by that time, Tom will be back with something of importance to tell us. In more ways than one, I hope. Hmm? Well, both about maybe spotting where the trapper is hiding out, uh, maybe even seeing that bright water's all right. But especially that he's been thinking about what you said to him a while ago, about walking closer to the Lord instead of getting carried away with what the Lord has given him. Well, we ought to be able to cover that area in about an hour. Maybe then we'll know how the trapper, Bright Water, and Tom stand. Let's go. I wonder how long I've been here. Can't see my watch. If only there was some way to get loose. If only... Say... If Brightwater were free, he might be able to... That's a long chance, but it might work. Hope the poor little guy isn't too far gone. Maybe if I call him, the sound of my voice will give him the will to wake up and break out. Brightwater? Hey, little fella. It's me, Tom. Brightwater. Wake up, fella. Hey. Is that him? Is it working? Hey, little fella. Hey, Brightwater, it's Tom. Come on, Brightwater. Come over here to Tom. Please, little fella. It's the only chance for either one of us. It is working. That's it, Brightwater. You can break out of that cage. You've broken out of tougher cages than that. Come on, fella. Come on. He did it. Come on, fella. Hi, little fella. I'm glad to see you, too. Hey, stop running around like that. We've got work to do. You've got to get me untied. Sure, I'd like to play, too. But I can as long as I'm tied up in this chair. Hey, settle down, Brightwater. I'll play as soon as I'm free. But you've got to get me out with those sharp teeth. traps in the whole area. I know. Unless I miss my guess, that means that the trapper is working from some point over in the southwestern area. He probably would have more traps closer to wherever it is he's staying. I have a feeling Tom will have a lot more to tell us when we see him. You ain't just whistling Dixie, Bill. There's only a little more of this area I want to check, Stumpy, and then we can get back to the tower and check with Ralph. <sighs> That was a little too close for comfort. Looks like them rangers is closing in. I'd better get back to the car and get my gear and myself out of here in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling that that other ranger will have a lot to tell them, too. That it ain't exactly what they're expecting to hear. <laughs> Hey, Brightwater, please, settle down and chew one of these ropes. We haven't got much time before that trapper gets away. Come on, little fella, please. Oh, how do you get through to an animal like that? Every time I say anything to him, he just gets playful. This isn't any time to play. Come on, Brightwater, come over here and chew one of these ropes loose. Brightwater, look out. Oh, no, you knocked that kerosene lamp over. Fire! Now we both have to get out of here before we burn. Please, Brightwater, please. If only you'll cut through one of these ropes, I can get us both out safely. But you've got to do it now. Now, Brightwater. The way that fire's growing, we won't be able to make it out much longer. Why don't you understand? Oh, dear God. Tell him what to do.
How about it, Ralph? Anything new? Sorry, Bill. All quiet on the Western Front. Has Tom reported back yet? Nope. I haven't seen anyone but you and Stumpy in the last couple of hours. You think maybe he's found something? I don't know. It's funny that he hasn't reported back, though. Yeah, it is. Well, maybe... Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? Fire. I can see smoke rising off in the direction Tom went. Fire? How big a one is it? I don't know. Can't tell yet. Hang on. I'll get the glasses. What do you make out of that, Bill? I wish I knew, old-timer. Might just be a coincidence. Or it might mean that Tom has stumbled onto something and is in trouble. Right. There's Ralph up there again. Uh, Can you see any more, Ralph? Yeah. It's not a tree fire, Bill. It's a cabin. An old cabin over by Bear Pond. The old cabin. Of course, I should have thought of it. Most of the traps sort of pointed in that direction. That trapper must be using that old cabin for his hideout. You want me to sound the alarm, Bill? Keep your eye on the fire, Ralph. If it confines itself to the cabin, it'll be all right. But if it starts any trees or brush nearby, get a crew out there in a hurry. Right. What are we going to do, Bill? Just what you expect, Stumpy. We're getting over to that cabin on the double. Let's go! There's no way to get in there with a car, so we'll have to double time it through the woods. If we hurry, we can be there in 15 or 20 minutes. (laughs) By that time, there won't be a cabin to arrive at. I know. I still think we'd better get there. There's something funny going on, and the sooner we get there to look the situation over, the better chance we'll have of finding out what's what. Let's get moving. These ropes. (laughs) Too well tied. Gotta get out. (laughs) I'm not ready to die, Lord. If only you'd give me a chance to start again. (laughs) To live the Christian life instead of just talking about it. I guess that's too much to ask. Do what you will, Lord. (laughs) I deserve it. (laughs) I wish you could get out of here safely, little fella. Oh, look at him dash around. Yet there there doesn't seem to be... Hey, look out, fella. He made it. He jumped right through the window. I hope he's all right. Wait a minute. That jagged, broken glass. If I could make it to the window, I might be able to... Can I make it, though? I'll have to scoot this chair. My leg's killing me. And this... This fire's closing in fast. Gotta make it. Dear God, please help me to make it. We should almost be there, Bill. The way I figure it, the cabin ought to be just over that next rise. Right. Say, look. Running this way. Ain't that Tom's otter? Looks like him, Stumpy. I don't see Tom with him. That might mean Tom's in trouble. Look. He sees us. Turning around. Back toward the cabin. Almost as though he's leading us there. I've seen dogs do that before. Never otters. How many trained pet otters have you ever seen? Well, that's the point, all right. We're just about to the top of the rise now. There it is. Look at her blaze. Yeah. Looks like you were right, old timer. About what? Well, if anyone or anything were in that cabin when it started burning... Well, it's obvious that no one could possibly be in there now and still be alive. Yep. You can say that again, Sonny. Hey, hey, where's that little otter headed for? Looks like he's going straight toward that blazing cabin. But he might get himself burned. He wouldn't be running there if there wasn't a good reason, Stumpy. I'm going after him and see what's up. You what? Bill, wait a minute. You're going to get yourself burned to a crisp. The 
Looks like Brightwater ran around the corner. Can't imagine what he came after. Unless... Oh, no. It's impossible. Tom couldn't possibly be in there. He'd have run out as soon as the fire started. <coughs> Most of the roof is caved in now. I hope that... Well, I still know. Here's the corner. What? On the ground. It's Tom. <coughs> He's too near the fire to be safe. The smoke is almost overpowering. <coughs> I'd better get him away from here before this wall buries us both. <coughs> I made it. And not a second too soon. Look at yonder at that cabin, or what's left of it. God didn't have to get me out of there, Bill. He didn't have to, but he did. You were very fortunate, Tom. Brightwater broke the glass, and God gave me the strength to scoot over and cut the ropes, and you helped pull me out. It was God moving through all of it, just to give me a chance to live up to my word. Your word? That's right, Stumpy. You fellas were right, you know. I let everything and especially Brightwater, completely crowd God out of my time and out of my mind. It sure came clear to me when I thought that any second I would be in his presence. But he's given me another chance. Even Brightwater seems happy to hear that. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Nuzzling up to you like that. That's right, little fella. I still love you. But I love the God that made us both a lot more. You helped save my life, trying to save your own. God did it just because he's kind and cares for his own, almost in spite of ourselves. What's that? Sounds like a jeep. I, I didn't think you could even get one of them there things back in here. Only by slow and careful driving between all the trees. Must be the trapper. Let's get him. Look, there he goes. He's got a good start. I don't think I could run fast enough to close the distance between us. Wait a minute. I don't know whether he'd do it or not. What are you talking about, young fella? Only thing to do is to try. Brightwater, go get him. Go get him, fella. Look at him go. Whew. Chasing that jeep with all he's got. He acts more like a dog all the time. <laughs> not exactly, but watch him. He's up to the jeep. Look at that. He jumped right on the driver. <laughs> he made him crash right into that tree. One illegal trapper trapped by one of the animals he trapped. Let's go and check on our shaken up friend. I know a good strong cage where we can put him. One strong enough that even bright water wouldn't be able to eat his way out. We'll see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill. Ranger Bill was produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago.